The relentless drift of continents has driven an immense natural fortress into the Tibetan sky. Jagged, snow-capped peaks receding into an arid labyrinth of valleys. The air is thinner here, the vegetation scarce, and yet the richness of life is sharper and arguably more vivid than elsewhere. Welcome to the roof of the world. For centuries, the Tibetan Plateau remained a great mystery to the outside world. Remote, isolated, the people here forged a distinct identity and centered their lives within the devout practice of Tibetan Buddhism. Over the course of millennia, Tibetans have largely kept their cultural autonomy, a place and people where art, architecture, and religion are one. The city of Lhasa and the Potala Palace is the spiritual heart of Tibet. From 1645 to 1959, this was the home of the Dalai Lama, 12,300 feet above the sea. Tesu <laughs> Some <laughs> The winding Lhasa River will eventually join the Brahmaputra and the Ganges rivers on its way to the Bay of Bengal. Prior to leaving the Tibetan Plateau, the river graces its namesake city. Modern Lhasa juxtaposes contemporary trends of global architecture alongside indigenous Tibetan-style buildings. The Potala Palace, however, still dominates the skyline, and Tibetan life remains a resilient part of the city's aesthetic. Yeah. 
Yeah, Beyond the prayer flags and the stupas that punctuate the landscape, there is a sense of spirit and wonder that can only be described as euphoric. The Tibetan people aren't deterred by the rugged lifestyle a terrain like this affords. They are strengthened by it. In the midst of a dynamic globe, Tibet is eternal, offering a life-changing experience. <laughs> 